Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the frozen tundra. I don't know how many of you have been watching for a long time, but when we moved back from Korea to the US, the snow was about four feet high. For you Europeans, that's over a meter in this area. And it took forever for it to melt, and it wasn't until May when spring really rolled around. But then it has been back since, and this is the first time you can see that. Snow has made a reappearance, a reemergence, if you will. It's pretty, but it's freezing. I changed the setting on the camera. I don't know if you notice the color difference. So it's a new year and big things on the horizon. Today is a very important day, but I don't know how vlog work worthy it is. I'm stopping at the post office quickly here. I have two more than average important, more than average. <laughs> to me they're very important meetings, both of them. And I usually don't have any meetings. I haven't had meetings for weeks. And two fell on the same day. Let's see if there's parking here. Well, this is interesting, trying to parallel park and vlog. Here we go. See if I can do this, Yui. The lady in the post office is requesting that I pull around to the back because there's too many packages. So I'm in the back of the post office right now. This is it. She made a special put everybody on hold trip to the back because too many big packages. And the car's right here. Oh my God. told me in high school that I was going to move to Korea to be a professor at a university and then retire from that before the age of 40 to make videos on the internet I probably would have responded what's the internet hey guys it's me I don't even know what to say I mean I think that I should be vlogging right now I should be talking to you guys because that's what I wanted to do. I actually told Richard over the New Year's holidays, actually over New Year's, that night that I wanted to vlog more and I wanted to be more on top of it and I had a lot of really great ideas. That did not last one day. Uh, my New Year's resolution, if you will, was instantly... It went good boy. But it's okay. I've just, I don't know. I've been re feeling really depressed lately and really down and, you know, there's a lot going on. But I think part of that is having come back from Christmas vacation with the flu and just trying to get back into the swing of that looking at the year and thinking, oh, there's so much that I wanted to do that I never did, and just feeling discouraged from that. I don't know. Maybe. So here's some of what I've been up to. And we go upstairs. We go upstairs. So here's some things that I've been doing. Last night I did some painting. And this one's going to be fun. This is a project. Oh crap, it's stuck. Did not plan for that. This is a picture frame. It's actually a non-canvassed canvas. 
See, it would be a canvas. And I painted this, and I've got a DIY project that I'm going to be doing with this, where I take some ribbon and stretch it across so that I can hang my glasses on it. I thought it would be kind of fun, the colors anyways. Goes along with what I already have in the room. I don't know, is that interesting? I don't know. Do you think that's interesting? I know you're excited because you're like, look at all the boxes, mom. All the boxes. It's perfect for her. I'll just leave them for now. Because I can't even deal right now. Alright, it is painting wrapping time. We're gonna wrap Never Never Land. I really like the colors of this one. It just makes me happy. You ready? Do you need more than one of these pieces of paper? No. Thank you. what's for dinner tonight until it's already cooked, but I thought I'd do it today. I have some spinach sauteing with some walnuts, and then there is some fettuccine from a local pasta place, Flower City Pasta, and that's going there, and then I got some bacon that I'm going to put in with that. I actually sauteed the bacon in the pan, drained the grease off, and then I'm sauteing the spinach in that, but I thought it'd be tasty. And it's ingredients I have on hand, so. Good combination, you know? All right, it is finished. Ding, ding, ding. Dinner's ready. So I eat it with my hands? Yes. Just dig your fingers in, reach in, swirl them around, and then take a big handful and just shove it in. You really want me to do that? <laughs> yes, tout. Thank you. Oh, it smells really good. I want your reaction. If it actually tastes good or not. Does it win? It's very good. These days, I'm a slightly less big fan of pasta because of carbohydrates. I just think if I eat too much pasta, it just sits like a big rock in my belly mm. afterwards. I don't digest it as quickly. But we haven't had pasta in a while, so this is good. And it's Flower City pasta. Yeah, it's flowers. I got it for Christmas from your mom. It was taking up a lot of cupboard space. It's by Chinese. Really good. It looks really good. It's really, really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna have to quit filming so I can eat my own. I'm just getting like sexy food shots right here. I gotta get a piece of bacon. bacon. Uh huh. Does the bacon make it better? Bacon makes everything better. Indeed. I heard that on a commercial once. <laughs> well, it's the next day, even though it's just the next clip for you. And it looks nice and clear. Oh, no clouds at all. And you're looking out the window with me. There's some snow out there. How long would you last if I let you out? Huh? Five seconds? Ten seconds? Longer? <laughs> 
And we are very, very busy today, even though we're getting a late start compared to many other people who work normal jobs. I think we're going to be working all night long. And that's kind of how we're most productive. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you today. That's it. I'm out of here. Hasta luego.